no, no, no. You're dusting incorrectly. Mom, what do you mean? You're supposed to go side to side, then up and down. Not up and down, then side to side. What? Since when? I've had enough of you. You're fired. But I'm your daughter. Say goodbye. What? Ah! Uh, time to go to the adoption center and get another daughter that will actually get the job done right. Ugh. I am so tired of doing chores. I feel like that's all I do in this adoption center. I just want to be adopted one day instead of vacuuming. When will the chores be over? Well, that's funny to hear you complain because next on the list is to vacuum the parking lot. You want me to vacuum the parking lot? Uh, yeah. There's dirt and leaves everywhere, which annoys me a lot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do that once I'm done here. Someone, for the love of pineapples, just adopt me already. Hello, I need assistance in adopting. <gasps> Maybe now's my chance. Back down and keep cleaning. So, you back already? Oh, what could I say? I just love adopting kids so much, I can't help it. I love giving them a loving home. I'm a fun mom. Ugh, gross. Well, unfortunately, I only have two options for you. Okay, well, that's not a problem at all. Very well. Follow me. Yeah, this is Brenda. What? Uh, no, it it's Brittany. My name's Brittany. Nice to meet you. Well, aren't you just the cutest little thing with that vacuum? Thank you, ma'am. Miss Caldwell! Miss Caldwell, my PS5 controller died again! And this is Cade. Oh, a boy. Yeah, not too many choices. Well, this Brittany looks like a perfect daughter to me. She seems like she always gets the job done, right? Me? Really? Yeah, I promise if you adopt me, I'll be like the best daughter ever. Jeez Louise, <laughs> lay it on thick, why don't you? Well, all right, let's go fill out the forms for the thousandth time. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so excited, I finally got adopted. I mean, today is the day. She looks fun and super cool. She had like a really pretty necklace on. And if I'm hearing correctly, she's also adopted before, which means I might have some really awesome brothers and sisters. You're gonna be hanging out with me in that capybara though. Uh, yeah, maybe, but he's eaten like all my clothes, so. Well, that's because he doesn't like losers like you. Woo, what? hey! Ah! Yeah! Are you ready to go, Brittany? Oh my gosh, am I ever? I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa, uh, this is it, huh? Yes, is there a problem? Oh, uh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, it's just very gray. I hope she's not mad at me. I didn't want that to come off as rude. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? Before we continue the house tour, oh, I can finally take off these hideous clothes. Hideous clothes? I happen to really like what she was wearing, and oh wow, this house is so sad looking. There's no color anywhere. Everything's black, white, and gray. And if this lady's adopted before, I mean, this house is spotless for having kids in it, and I don't really think I care anyone. Am I the only kid here? Maybe they're at school or something. Who knows? This is much better. Now time for you to change into your uniform. Whoa, talk about an outfit change. But uniform, what do you mean? If you are going to be living under my roof, you will obey my rules. And looky here, you're standing right by them. Now take a look. Oh, oh, I, I didn't even notice them. It says rule number one, no Color? Color equals happy, happy equals no rules? Rule number two, no video games. Rule number three, bedtime 7 p.m., no exceptions. Wake up is 4 a.m., no exceptions. We only get an A+, plus. you always eat your vegetables, we only listen to classical music, no laughing? Whoa, those rules are so strict. Rules are rules, and I love rules. Now here, how about you change? And here's your uniform. What the? Much better. The pink was hurting my eyes. How could you wear such an ugly color? But I love pink. Not anymore. Your favorite colors are now black and gray. Um, enough chit chat. I'm tired of hearing you talk. Make yourself useful and go dust the blinds. See those windows? I want all of them clean. Like every window in the house? 
You heard me. And if I see a single speck of dust, you will be grounded for a year. A whole year? What did I say about talking? I'm sorry, Mom. I, I mean, ma'am. Right. And one last rule. The basement is off limits. Okay. Okay. So this lady literally just did a 180 turn from how she was at the adoption agency. If I knew she was going to be this strict, I wouldn't have wanted to get adopted. Well, better get started on cleaning. Okay. And done. I think that was the last window on this floor. How many windows can this house have? I've already cleaned like 30 of them. I hear talking, which means you finished dusting. Correct? Um, yes. Everything's done on this floor. I'll be the judge of that. Now let me take a look. This lady is crazy strict. I hope I clean these windows enough because I do not want to be grounded for an entire year. Good news. Not a single speck of dust is in sight. You're already so much better than the last one. Wait, the last one? What are you talking about? Enough with the questions. It's time for me to go get the groceries. I expect this entire house to be sparkling by the time I get back. What do you mean? I mean, this house is already super clean. Oh, yeah? Ha <laughs> ah, Wait, no! What the heck? Oh my gosh, she's throwing dirt everywhere! Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> and that should be do it? All this better be gone by the time I get back in an hour or else. Oh my gosh. Okay, this lady isn't just strict. I think she's crazy. Who just trashes their own house like that? I better get to work fast. There's no way I can clean this all in an hour. Oh goody, it's unlocked. Oh my gosh, so Sophie, oh, I am so, 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 so glad you're here, bestie. What, a, what are you doing here? You know me, I was stalking your location and was curious as to why you were here. Also, what in the pineapples is that outfit? <laughs> Sophie, I got adopted by this crazy strict woman. This is my new uniform. I can't wear pink anymore and she expects me to clean this entire house by the time she comes back getting groceries. Oh, okay. Well, when is that? Oh my gosh, in 25 minutes! Sophie, there's no way I could clean this house in time. I don't want anything to happen to you. So I got your back. I'm going to help you clean. Oh my gosh, you're so gross. Oh, I feel gross just saying it. You are a lifesaver, Sophie. Take this. Uh, okay. How do I turn this thing on? Sophie, it's a broom. Oh, oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that. Oh, boy. Okay, the last thing on the list and done. Oh my gosh, Bestie! We did it! Oh yeah! It's clean! Woohoo! You are my hero, Bestie. I don't think I'd be able to finish cleaning this house without you. I know. I'm amazing. <gasps> but ooh, what's that door over there? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Sophie, no. No, no, no. We can't go in there. Why? It's a door. Doors are meant to be gone through. Well, Sophie, my strict mom says we absolutely cannot go in the basement. It's off limits. Well, if that doesn't make you want to know what's behind this door, I don't know what will. Well, Sophie, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to know what's behind there. Wait, really? Come on! Who knows? It could be filled with candy and chocolates and video games. Now open this door. Open this And that is my cue to leave. Wait, wait, no, 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 You can't go out the front door. Go out the back. She's gonna catch you. Good call, Bessie. And good luck. See you at school. Okay, Britt, um, act normal. It's okay. Don't be terrified. She's just your strict mom. You got this? And welcome her at the front door. I'm back. Oh, there you are, Brittany. Wow, look at you. <laughs> You're good at following orders. Now, go get the groceries from out of the car. I need to do my daily wordle. But wait, mom, isn't that considered a video game? There are no video games allowed in this house. <gasps> wordle is not a game. It's good for the mind. Unlike those rotten video games you kids play nowadays. It's educational. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I'll go get the groceries quick before the ice cream melts. To be perfectly honest with you guys, not feel like a kid right now. I feel more like a maid. It's 4 1 a.m. You over slept. Get up now. Ah, ah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? 
wake up time is 4 a.m. sharp. Now hurry up. You have to make me breakfast before you go to school. Oh my gosh, she was not kidding about 4 a.m. being the wake up time crazy. I'm exhausted. I did so many chores yesterday that I, I'm just, I'm so tired, people. I'm so tired. Now this crazy lady is forcing me to be up this early and make her breakfast before school. Brittany, hurry up. Here we go. Let's go make breakfast. I'm waiting. Hurry up. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right on it. Um, what's something quick that I can make? Cereal. Perfect. Everyone loves cereal. It's like the best thing in the morning. Voila. Here you go. <laughs> bon appetit. What is this? It's cereal. I don't eat anything with sugar in it. Oh, um, okay. Then why did you buy it at the grocery store? Are you talking back? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, never. Well, then I guess you want your own mother to starve, huh? Unacceptable. No, 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 not at all. Um, I can make you something else, like French toast, scrambled eggs. Don't bother. Leave. You're going to be late to school. But it's only 4.15 in the morning. School starts at 9. Yes, but your school is about 10 miles away from here. So I suggest you leave now. Wait, you want me to walk 10 miles? Well, how else do you expect to get to school? Uh, I don't know. I... I kind of figured you'd drop me off. <laughs> well, I would have if you woken up on time, but you decided to sleep in. Now get walking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I literally only slept in for one minute. Better make sure I wear comfortable shoes on my 10 mile hike to school. Ugh. Ow, 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 ow. I definitely have blisters from these shoes. These are not comfortable shoes for a 10 mile walk. Hey, Brit. Uh oh, bestie, you look awful. What did you do? Walk like five miles? <sighs> Sophie, it was actually 10. Wait, why on earth did you walk 10 miles to get to school? Well, because of my new mom. I overslept by like one minute and she made me walk to school as punishment. Oh, girly, your new mom is completely nuts. I haven't been able to stop thinking about what she's hiding in that basement though. Any more ideas? Honestly, Bestie, I can't relate. I've been too busy doing chores like 24 7 that i haven't even thought about what she's hiding in the basement mm, i see i see well you better get your thinking cap on bestie because we have our history midterm today what no 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 that's today yeah i know i'm hoping that timmy jr writes big enough for me so i can see his answers but you know girl studying not the thing no this isn't good i didn't even have a chance to go over the study guide Come on, Bessie. We gotta get to class. Good luck! You may now begin your test. Man, I don't even know what any of this is. Psst, Timmy, can you move your hand slightly to the left, please? I can't copy your answers. Quiet down, Sophie. I said no talking! Okay, Britt, just, just focus. You got this. Damn, Bestie, today has been awful. I could barely keep my eyes open. Waking up at 4 a.m. is not my thing. I'm not a morning person. Ooh, girl, don't I know it. How do you think you did on the exam? <sighs> Honestly, I probably failed. You know, I'm hoping I at least get a C. Shooting for the stars here. Oh my gosh, the grades have been posted. Oh, oh I wonder what I got. Let me log in real quick. Yeah, bird! I got a C plus. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's the highest test score I've gotten all year! Oh my gosh. No! Oh no, 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 no! What is it, Bestie? Sophie, I got an F! I failed! Just like I thought I did! Oh, yikes. I'm sorry, Brett. What am I gonna tell my new mom? Uh, I don't know. But at least you have a 10 mile walk to figure that out, right? I'll catch you later, girly. Catch you later, Soph. Okay, I mean, maybe she just won't ask about the grades. Maybe she forgot I was even at school. Who knows? I just can't worry. Oh, good. You're home. Come inside. Oh, hi, Mom. How was your day? How did your history exam go? Oh, uh, you know, it, it was good. I, I tried my best. Um, Yeah, it, it just, um, yeah. Good. Good to hear. I hope my perfect daughter got the perfect grade to match it. Um, well, about that. Brittany, what did you get on your history exam? Don't make me repeat myself. I, um, I got an F. An F? What? I know, I know. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I've just been so busy doing chores. I didn't have time to study and I've just been exhausted. <laughs> All I'm hearing is excuses. Honestly, it's not an excuse, it's the truth. You young lady broke one of the rules. Now go to your room and stay there for the rest of the night. Okay. Fine. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break the rules. Scram. Honestly, I'm not that mad I was sent to my room. Maybe I can finally take a nap. I'm exhausted, so I'm just gonna make my bed super quick and maybe take a rest. Wait, what the heck was that noise? Is someone here in the house? That was really weird. Let me go downstairs and investigate. Hey mom, did you hear that weird noise? Okay, that's so strange because I know I totally heard people talking and it came from inside the house. <gasps> Wait, the basement door. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it sounds like someone's coming up the basement stairs. I'm gonna just hide right here. Ugh, they're getting more and more needy each and every single day. So annoying. What the heck? They? What's going on? Oh my gosh, I need to go upstairs and text Sophie so quick. She won't believe this. Oh, where are you? You said you'd be here. Yes, perfect. Sophie. Okay, one sec. I gotta go distract my strict mom. And then I'll sneak you in. Make that quick. I drank a whole gallon of Dr. Pepper and I don't know how much longer I can wait. Whoa, okay. Uh, TMI, Sophie. All right, if I was to distract my strict mom... Um, uh, think, Brittany. Use your brain, use your brain. <gasps> That's it. I've got it. Excuse me. Um, mom? Whoa. Uh, mom? Hi. You seem to never listen. Didn't I tell you to stay in your room? Yeah, um, but I have something really, really important to tell you. It better be good. It's the neighbors. They're, uh, they're having a party. Loud music, a bouncy house, everything. What? A party? Oh, and don't get me started about the balloon animal guy. I see him making a giraffe that's like 80 feet tall. Oh, not on my watch. They are violating the contract I had them sign when they moved next door. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Oh, well, that worked. Let me go get Sophie. Psst, bestie, coast is clear. Oh, my pineapples. Brit, the lady was on a mission. What did you tell her? neighbors were having a party. <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, I know where to tell my parents to never move. So about this basement. Oh my gosh. Yes. Come on in. Okay. It was crazy. I heard voices and it was definitely coming from the basement. Oh my gosh. Did you call me over for a ghost hunt? <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. No, 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 no. It gets even better. Sophie, then I snuck out of my room and saw my mean mom come up the stairs with like an empty tray of food. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. You think your strict mom has people living in the basement? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it sounds crazy, but she said she's adopted kids before and there's literally no one here but me. Okay, then what are you waiting for? We gotta find a way to unlock that basement door. We don't have a lot of time. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. So I think we should split up and look. All right, Bessie, I'll take over here and you go over there and we scream banana when we find something, okay? Sounds good. If I was a key, where would I be? Here, no, all right, um, I don't see anything. In the trash? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I knew I could count on you, Sophie. All right, bestie, stand back. This door is coming down. One, two, three. Oh, uh, Sophie, are you sure that's a good idea? Yep, here we go. But honestly, I'm kind of having second thoughts right now, Sophie. I'm nervous. Bestie, the door is already knocked down. You gotta commit now before your strict mom comes back. Hello? Is someone else here? Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was the voice I heard before. Ben, let's check it out. Sophie, I don't know. Too late, Bestie. I'm going downstairs. Come on. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. <gasps> oh my gosh. Brittany? Haley, what the heck are you doing here? Wait, Britt, how, how do you know her? We were at the orphanage together, but then she got adopted. Britt, I'm so glad to see you. You've got to help me. I didn't know the same crazy lady adopted you too. Yes, and she is next level. We got to get out of here and never come back. So Haley's right. We got to get out of here. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Hit it with the shovel again? No, no, no. Britt, there's a key hidden under that box. You can't miss it. Oh. 
under here? Perfect, I see it. Hold on, let me just put this aside. I got it. Here we go. <laughs> Yay! We did it. I can't believe she was keeping you under here. Ahem, <clears throat> what the heck? What are you doing? Okay, lady, you are crazy and the three of us, we're leaving. Not so fast. You know my secret. I can't just let you go. Oh yeah, wanna watch us? Oh, hey! <laughs> Gaming? Oh no, not in this house! Luke, what are you doing? Uh, Mom! No gaming in this house! I want you to go downstairs and do the dishes! Mom! Now where is your sister? Brittany! She's not in here? Oh, that's it! I'm gonna be so strict in this household, no one is going to be safe! Brittany! <gasps> what the? Mom? Brittany, you get off that computer right this instant! Get in the car. Where? I'm leaving. Uh-oh, bestie. You better run. You're right. See you later, Soph. What the heck? What just happened? My mom was so mad that I was gaming at Sophie's. I don't believe it. Oh, hey, Luke. What's going on? Dude, I don't even want to talk about it. Mom came into my room and screamed at me for gaming, and now I'm cleaning all the dishes. I hate cleaning. I hear ya. I'm so mad. But I can't game. I was doing so well. I almost got my highest score. Well, this is all your fault anyways, Brit. Wait, what? No, it isn't. I didn't do any of this. Yeah, right. Whatever. Oh, I'll talk to you later. I'm going upstairs. So that way, my mom can never stop me from gaming. And I can finally finish that campaign. Ahem, <clears throat> Brittany. Oh, uh, yes, mom? I need you to mow the lawn, mop all the floors, do not miss a spot, hold all laundry, even your brother's underwear, and don't you complain about it. Wait, seriously? I don't want to do his laundry. It's so smelly. If you don't do as I say, you will be grounded. Okay, fine. I really don't want to be grounded. Start mopping the floors. Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. Well, looks like I better go get the mop and bucket and start cleaning. I don't know why my mom is so mad. And she's being super strict all of a sudden. Wait, I wonder if I built a secret gaming room like over here or something, or in like a random part of the house. That way my mom would never find it. But I have to think of a way to get my mom out of the house in the first place. I've got it, I got an idea. Hey, mom. Oh my gosh, mom, you won't believe it. What is it, Brittany? I am trying to read about the economy. Well, mom, I heard that Brenda's out of the house and having fun on a school night. What? <gasps> oh no, absolutely not. I will not have any of that. She is in big trouble. Perfect, this will buy me some time. Okay guys, so I just hopped into build mode because no one is at my house and it's the perfect time to build. So let's see. I was thinking of putting my secret gaming room kind of over here. We have like a really random square that's empty and it's gotta be like a top secret super cool gaming room. So we're gonna make it into a basement. Duh. First, we need a secret door. Door perfect. Now to change the color to blend in with the wall so no one suspects that it's a door. And just like that people, the secret door is being secretive. Now, downstairs, basement, I'll probably put in like, I don't know, some kind of stairs or whatever here. Okay, that's the perfect spot. We gotta go down a level two, and we can't get too close to the laundry room downstairs because my mom is totally gonna know. Right, perfect. So now to toss up some walls. Ooh, go. Here we are. All right, perfect, it looks good so far. And now for some stairs. What do we think? What do we think? Ooh, an escalator. That would be fun. But let's just do like a classic spiral staircase. All right, hold on. We're just gonna rotate. Okay, perfect. I wanna see if this will actually work. So real quick, I'm gonna hop out of build mode just to make sure my placement is okay. Into the secret door. Perfect. Oh, oh. Well, you didn't really think that through, Brittany. Jump! So far, so good. Yo, Brit! Brit, where are you? Brit! Oh no, it's my brother! What is he doing and why is he shouting for me? Oh man, I gotta find her. Wait a second, the floors don't look that clean. Oh, I gotta talk to Brittany, where is she? Brittany! Brittany, where are you? Oh 
no! Now my mom's back too! <gasps> Guys, this isn't good! Why is everyone looking for me? I hope I'm not in trouble. Brittany! I don't see her anywhere! I think everyone went upstairs. Now is probably the safest time to leave my secret room because we all know if I start building again, I'm gonna kick everyone out. Oh no, and I got a withering plant. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'll pretend I couldn't hear my mom or my brother because I was outside taking care of the plants. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I think the sunflower's over here. La 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 what are you doing? Oh, you know, just being outside, loving nature, watering all the plants, the usual. You couldn't hear me screaming for you? No, sorry, Mom. Huh. Well, you're in big trouble now. I'm gonna double the amount of chores you have to do. You now have to dust, you have to retune the piano, you have to organize all the Tupperware, and get to work now. Organize the Tupperware? Oh, no. And I should probably get started on mowing all this Grass. This is gonna take forever. It's been growing for like 45 years. Hey, Britt, what's going on? <gasps> Wait, can I play with the weed whacker? Oh, hey, Soph. No, I'm sorry. I'm doing like a ton of chores right now. And I think my mom would lose her mind if she saw you with a weed whacker. Oh, come on. I'm pretty much a certified professional. Better safe than sorry, bestie. I guess. You're right. So, hey, how's that secret gaming room coming along? Oh, my gosh. So far, so good. I put in the stairs, but then everyone came home, so I had to stop building. Well, girlfriend, you better get a move on it before your mom finds out and goes haywire. Yeah. So the last thing I need is for my mom to be screaming at me. Great scary strict mom. Sophie Sampson, what are you doing here? Hi, Brit's mom. I was just coming to say hi to my best friend. Well, you know the rules. No friends are allowed. Oh, my chores. I want you to beat it. <laughs> Sorry, Brad, I'll see you later. Wait, mom, seriously? You're banning Sophie from the house now? You bet I am. Chores only. From now on, they're your best friend. Okay, mom, I love you, but that's totally not fair. As a matter of fact, I have something I want to show you. Put the weed whacker away and meet me in the living room. Wait, what the heck? What are these? They're the new house rules. Rule number one, no friends. Rule number two, no complaining. Rule three, always do your chores. Rule four, no gaming, no dancing, no laughing, no happiness. Breaking these rules will get you grounded for life. Grounded for life? You heard me. Now go upstairs and clean up our dinner. Yes, ma'am. Goodness, I don't believe this grounded for life. That is way too long. Brett, what the heck? What's your problem, Luke? You! You're the problem! Wait, what? What are you mad about now? You keep getting me in trouble! No, I'm not getting anyone in trouble. Something's gone wrong with mom and she's super strict all of a sudden. It's not fair! It's totally your fault! You need to be quiet! I'm not getting anyone in trouble. Mom's just really strict and super unfair. Yo, Britt, you can't say that! Not too loud! Mom can hear you! Ever. I get ready for dinner. Fine. Then I'm gonna get Brittany in trouble. See how she likes it. Oh, mom! Okay, I know my mom's leaving soon for her book club, so I just have to wait here until she goes and the coast is clear. Any minute now. Kids, I'm leaving for book club! Remember the house rules! And now is my chance. Build mode! Oh, so we have to add the floor. There we go. And to add a light, too. Okay. Oh, and probably a railing because safety first, people. I don't want to be falling down the stairs. I'm just so clumsy. Right. Awesome. That looks good. Pink. Now it looks even better. Okay. So we have the floor and let's do something fun. Oh, maybe this cool pattern. It's a little colorful and chaotic, but I kind of love it. Right, and to paint the walls. I'll do one pink. I'll do one like that pretty purple color. This one will be blue. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so colorful. And to add some fairy lights because why not? Adorable. So now for the fun part where we will pick a desk for my secret gaming room. Let's do this one. And computer, of course. Pink, perfect. We need a cozy computer chair. Adorable, yes. Okay, now to add some speakers for my setup. These. Oh. Okay, looks good so far. And now to add some TVs. <gasps> what about 
this projector. Put it on this wall. And then we'll add a super cozy couch. Because that's the rules in a secret gaming room. You need a cozy couch. No, scratch that. We're gonna do some of these adorable hanging chairs. Put one here. And we'll put one here. Maybe just one. I feel like just one is fine. But we're totally still gonna add this cozy couch. We need this guy. We need a cool drink fridge. Perfect. And, okay, perfect. And a microwave because we need popcorn for movies, people. We need a coffee station. All right, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Okay, final touches. We need an adorable heart-shaped mirror. Yes! Because it's cute, duh. And a picture frame. Because I want to put a picture of my dog, Comey, in it. So I can think of her when I game. Adorable. Guys, I think the secret gaming room is done. So I'm going to hop on a build mode. Yay! Oh, all of that building has made me starved. But I got to check out the gaming room. Gosh, y'all, it's so cute. Yes, I love it. Okay, but we are here to game. So let's game. Wait, wait, actually, before I get too tied up in my game, I'm gonna pause it and go upstairs and get some ice cream. I should have put an ice cream maker down here, but I wasn't thinking, people. So away we go, we're going upstairs. Wait, <gasps> what the heck? What's my mom doing back? Mom, there she is. There's the gamer. She's breaking rule number four. <gasps> what? Brittany, are you gaming? What? No, absolutely not. Yes, she is, Mom. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. This is insanity. I left the book club early for this. I'm gonna search everywhere in this house and I will find if you're lying or not. Uh, no, Mom, I, I'm really not lying. It's okay, you don't have to search. You know what? You're right. I have a better idea. I'm gonna call my friend Matilda. No, that's my mom's wicked mean friend. No, 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 don't call Matilda. It's okay, mom. Too late. Great going, Brit. Oh my gosh, no, this is terrible. Oh, good. Matilda, you're here. I need your help. Of course. I hate gaming. Let's put an end to this. Come on. I'll search over here. You search over there. Got it. Huh. I don't see anything. Neither do I, but I'm not giving up. You really don't have any Diet Coke in there? We're a soda-free family. Yeah, whatever. I don't see anything in here. Neither do I. Well, I'm not giving up. Guys, you really don't have to do this. Water temperature seems fine. There's no games in here. Look, you two can call up to search. There's no gaming here. Oh, yeah? I don't believe you. I'm gonna find games. And once I do, I'll destroy them. Why do you both have such a problem with gaming anyways? It's so much fun. Shut up! Yes, Brittany, you're grounded. I don't want to hear from you. Because you're a liar. Oh, wait a second. Something seems off over here. You're right. The lighting. They're so good at lighting. Um, uh, mom, mom, oh my gosh. <gasps> can you hear that? I, I think it's Brenda. Oh my goodness, mom. I can hear her not doing her homework upstairs. What? Oh, that's it. We need to go speak with her. You're right. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so close. I need to finish this room and make it even more secretive than ever. Britt, not to be rude or anything, but your mom and her friend are weird. Girl, you're telling me. I have no idea what's gotten into them. And neither do I, Bestie. But your mom is so strict. It's terrifying. Wait a sec. So, did you just hear that? Uh, yeah. Britt, it sounds like it's coming from outside. What the heck is that noise? Go for sex side. Wait, hey, gaming. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sophie, it's my mom's crazy strict friend. And is she having a one-woman protest about gaming? Gaming is for losers. No gaming allowed. Take gaming out of our schools. This lady is losing her pineapple, Soph. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. What is all of this racket? Oh, oh, wait, ma'am, what's the meaning of this? I want gaming banned. Principal Meanston, you have to stop her. No, she's right. I want to ban gaming. Then get her, Principal Meanston. She's a gamer. <gasps> Brittany, what? You're gonna be in trouble. Wait, what the heck? Oh, no, Brit, this isn't good. Ah, let's get across. Ah, I gotta go. Time for class. Ah, let's go, Sophie, quick to algebra. That's it. I need to talk.
talk to my mom. Mom, I need to talk to you. Excuse me, you didn't knock. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. But I wanna know why you and your strict friend hate gaming so much. This is getting out of hand. Because I'm strict and I like to make rules. That is crazy, mom. No, what's crazy is you not focusing on things that actually matter, like schoolwork, having a clean house, and doing what you're told. But as for my friend, she's a different story. Oh, Christine! Where are you? Ah, she's here! What is the meaning of this? I am here to inform you that I suspect your son, Luke, of gaming, and he needs to be questioned. <gasps> Luke is a gamer? I don't believe this! What the heck? Luke, get down here now! Yo, Mom, what's going on? What's all the screaming about? I have to talk to you. Oh, great. What did Britt blame me for now? Dude, trust me, you're not gonna believe this. You know, you're gonna get kicked out of school if you don't answer, answer the, the questions, questions right, Luke. Ah, Mom, your scary friend's scaring me! To my office, now! Okay, fine. I swear, it wasn't me. That's what all the criminals say. And don't you worry, I've got my eye on you. Things are getting crazy around here. I need to finish that secret gaming room now more than ever. Okay, I just have a few more finishing touches on the secret gaming room. The disco ball right above my desk. And I'm gonna add like a little bit of security because I'm so terrified that they're gonna find the secret gaming room. So if I put a wall here, perfect. Change the color super, super quick. Oh, but I need another secret door. That way, if they find this, they'll walk in and be like, oh, how weird. Just, you know, a little random hallway. Nothing to see here. Let's see what else I need to add real quick. Oh, a coffee table with magazines. So quickly, coffee table. I like this one. This one's super cute. Throw that there. I'm just gonna change the color of it too, super quick. Okay, cute decorations. Let's see, is there anything else fun in gaming I could add? I'll add a confetti. <laughs> Perfect. I think we're done with our secret gaming room. I feel really bad that my brother's in trouble and I need to figure out what is up with my mom's strict friend. So maybe I'll sneak out and see if I can find any clues. But I don't exactly know where my mom's friend lives. I could walk this way. Whoa, mom! Hey! Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Have you washed the ceiling yet? Oh, um, about that, mom. I, I was actually gonna go head to Sophie because I know she has like a super long ceiling washing brush thing and I was gonna see if I could borrow it. Yeah. Ha, absolutely not. You are grounded, missy. You can see that Sophie Sampson girl at school tomorrow. Now chop chop, those ceilings won't be sparkly on their own. Great, I was so close. Sophie, for the first time in forever, I'm actually on time for school. Bessie, I know, this is kind of amazing. It's almost historical. Well, with my mom being so strict lately, the last thing I want is her to be mad at me for being late at school. Girl, you can say that again. <gasps> what the? Oh, what? We just get kicked off school property? doing here? Yeah, what the heck, lady? What's the big idea? <laughs> I'm the head of the parents here now at school, and you two are kicked out officially. What the heck? You can't do that. And where's my brother? Oh, him? He's the worst of them all. I'm making sure that he goes to a school with only books and no computers. He's going to have to write his reports with a pen and paper. What the heck? And my mom's letting you get away with this? Of course. And besides, the whole school wants him out. He's terrible. Britt, this is crazy town. I think we need to leave. Yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. Ta-ta, you freaks. Sophie, what the heck are we supposed to do? Just follow me, bestie. I have an idea. Okay, Sophie, why did you take me here? It's that mean lady's house. Come on. If we sneak in, maybe we can find clues about her and figure out why she's so terrible. Good idea. Come on. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. So, are you thinking what I'm thinking? This house looks incredibly boring. There's not an ounce of color. I know. Wait. Hey. 
Excuse me, you're interrupting my reading. Oh my gosh, are you Matilda's son? Yes, but you are interrupting my leisure reading. What is the meaning of this? Look, I built a secret gaming room and you should come and have fun. This place looks like, miserable and I'm sure you have a miserable life. Excuse me, whoa, how in the pineapples did you jump that high? Dude, what? You can't be here and you definitely can't be talking about <laughs> Yo, Brett, we need to figure out what is up with this family. Yeah, sorry, you can go back to reading. We're just gonna snoop around your house a little bit. You don't mind, do you? Just leave me alone! Okay, um, let's look over here. Oh my gosh, there's no TVs in this place. How do these people even have fun? Probably by ruining everyone else's life. Come on, I'm not giving up. There's gotta be a clue somewhere. Maybe in this cabinet? Oh my gosh, Soph, I think that's her pulling up. I think you're right. We should probably get out of here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Excuse me. Ah, run, Sophie, run, come on, come on. What are you doing? What were you doing at my house? Get back here, kids, get back here. Dude, I'm so excited you built this secret gaming room and let me in here. Yeah, I know, we can actually have fun without mom finding out. For now. What are you talking about? I worked super hard. There's no way she'll find this secret gaming room. What? <gasps> what is this? Excuse me, children! Oh no, I spoke too soon, Mom! Ah, I don't believe this! You lied to me! You lied! You said there was no gaming and look, look at this monstrosity! There's unicorns flying! There's Rotus! And there's also a giant gaming PC! Mom, okay, I'm sorry, you're right. I did build a secret gaming room. Yeah, but mom, we only did this because gaming means so much to us. It's true. It was very wrong to lie to you, but we love gaming and we just didn't want to live without it. Well, I guess I understand. It's like if I lived life without rules, but it's just stupid. It's a waste of time. Don't you kids know you could be doing other valuable things? Yeah, but gaming also helps us escape from our problems. Yeah, mom, if I failed a math test, I can come home and game and not think about it. Yeah, and if people are mean to me at school, I can run home and game and live in my own world. Hmm. Well, I guess you're right. <gasps> oh my, look at this. I knew it. I knew it. You two were lying. How could you let your kids lie about gaming? I'll destroy all of this. Don't you worry. No, honestly, it, it's okay. I can kind of see why my kids game. What? Are you losing your strictness? That's unacceptable. Oh, Matilda, just pipe down. You're mad because your boyfriend chose to be a pro gamer and left you behind. Why would you remind me of Bartholomew? <laughs> I'm gonna destroy all coming! Mark my words! Oh, no you don't. Not in my house, lady! Get out of here! Ah! I said get out! Get out! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! What the heck just happened? Dude, I don't know, but I'm gonna go play Restaurant Tycoon. Wait, what the heck? No, oh, I wasn't done playing with my game! Oh, too bad! Aw, oh, man! Alrighty, Brittany, have a good day at school. Um, Mom, this isn't my school. Oh, you're right. Oh, well, get out of the car right this second. No, I gotta Mom! go! Fremont Academy? No fun? Building a better world one strict rule at a time? Did my mom just drop me off at a strict school? What am I supposed to do? I can't be here. Young lady, school starts at 9 a.m. sharp, and you're not in uniform. Hold on, are you talking to me? No talking back. You must only address me as Principal Tackett or ma'am. Oh, kids these days, such hooligans, no respect for their elders. I'm sorry, ma'am. My mom just dropped me off here. My name's Brittany. Don't care. Follow me. Let's get you in uniform immediately because pink hurting my eyes. Oh my gosh, she sure seems friendly. Wait a second, what's that? I smell a student. You, get to class. Uh, 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 I'm so sorry, Principal Tackett. Uh. Now you, how can one wear such hideous clothing? Take this. Oh, hey, those are my clothes. <laughs> now that's much better. I'll have those burned immediately. Burn? Outfit. My mom bought those for me. Oh, well, your mom has horrible taste then. Okay, enough talking. Here are the rules you must 
obey. No laughing, no smiling, no games, no leaving unless given permission. Carfew is 7 p.m. sharp. And always respect the megaphone. Always respect the megaphone? What does that mean? It means exactly what it sounds like, young lady! Okay, I think I know what that means. And if you disobey any of these rules, there will be severe consequences. Yes, ma'am, of course. Now get to class! Whoa, uh, okay, um, uh, oh! Yeah! Okay, okay, guys, this school is terrible. I think I'm stuck here, and I really don't want to break any rules because I don't want to know what those consequences are. Here I am, my first class is AP Calculus, which is like crazy hard math. I don't know why I'm in this room, but it'll be okay. It doesn't sound fun at all, but I can do it. All right, students, who can tell me what the Raymond Hypothesis of 1859 is? Huh? Huh? Anybody? I have no idea what any of those words even mean. I do. <laughs> One week detention for you, Timmy. Yeah. But, but sir, uh, I know the answer. Make it two weeks detention for talking back to me. Uh, I'm sorry, mister. Wait, what? You gave him detention for raising his hand? Why, yes. He was being too Timmy for me. I was over it. What the heck? What does that even mean? Do you want detention too? Uh, no, no, sir. Definitely not. Perfect. Now, class, since you're all huge disappointments, open your calculus textbooks and complete sections 1 to 128 before the end of the period. Unless you want me to tell Principal Tackett how much of a failure you all are. What? Class ends in 20 minutes. There's no way we can get through all those sections of work. Is that a problem? If you shut up, you can get to work. And I'm going to play Minecraft. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do this in time. But I have to get to work. I don't want to get in trouble. I can't believe I made it through all those sections. Class is dismissed. Now get out. Oh my gosh, yes. Perfect time to get out of here. Listen up. We have left ice cream in the locker room. Better run back to my office immediately. And another thing. Oh, my pineapples. Principal Tackett sure loves screaming at people with her megaphone. But as long as she's not screaming my name, I think we'll be okay. Guys, I'm so starved. I cannot wait for lunch. I wonder what type of lunch this school has. At my other school, we had cookie dough ice cream. And after all that work I just did in calculus, I think I deserve some cookie dough ice cream. Um, thank you for the lunch tray. But uh, may I ask, what is this? Lunch. Yeah, but I was wondering, like, what are these things on my plate? Food. Okay, well, thank you. This looks terrible. There's like chili on this toast or something. I'm gonna take a seat. Hey, may I join you? Oh, hi, yeah, of course. Thanks, my name's Gabby. You must be new here. Oh yeah, is it that obvious? It's nice to meet you, Gabby. My name's Brittany. Well, it's super nice to meet you. How's your first day going? Well... I gave you a shirt! Never wear white after Labor Day! Follow the rules! <laughs> Principal Tackett sure is strict, huh? No kidding, it's crazy. <laughs> Him! Did I happen to hear any laughter coming from this table? Woo! Um, uh, um, oh! No, ma'am, absolutely not. We would never laugh a single day in our life. You can count on us. We would never break the rules. Hmm, good to know. Because nobody wants to know what the consequences are. Trust me. Now carry on. Gosh, girl, I am so sorry. I did not mean to get us in trouble. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. But hey, do you know what these consequences she's talking about are? Honestly, I have no clue. There are many different rumors floating around, but no one knows for sure. What I've noticed, though, is that when students disobey Principal Tackett, they disappear. Never to be seen again. It's like they fall off the face of the earth. What? Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to go home. Good luck with that. You're stuck here. Didn't you notice that every door is locked shut? Oh my gosh, that's the bell. Hold on. But oh, wait, what do you mean I'm stuck here? I'll tell you more later in private. What's your next class? Um, I think it's PE. Oh, perfect. Same. Want to walk together? 
Yeah, let's go. So what's gym class usually like? Well, usually... All right, students! Today, we will be running laps the entire class! Whoa, wait, the entire class? Yes, new student, what's your name? Oh, um, my name's Brittany. <laughs> well, Miss Brittany, kids these days are lazy, glued to their phones all the time. I build my students to be athletic and disciplined. That starts by running laps. <laughs> now you idiots get running and don't stop or else. Oh, the school really is strict. Em, what did I say? Oh, I'm sorry. Get moving. Sure. We just gotta run laps around the school. This is crazy. I mean, maybe it's not bad. It is a really good workout and I don't have to worry about, I don't know, math problems or, or reading or, or science. But wait, guys, how long is gym class again? Um, it's an hour. Yeah, Carl's right. We have to keep running laps around the school for an hour. Yeah, well, I don't want to get in trouble. I'm gonna keep running. Come on, girl, let's go. Up to, up to. Oh no! Gabby, is everything okay? What's wrong? No, I got a cramp! I'm so thirsty, I don't think I can do this anymore! Don't worry, girl, you got this! No, I'm sorry, Britt, I, I can't! I'm so tired! Ham, <laughs> what is this? Why did you stop? Um, ma'am, I'm really tired! I need some water! <laughs> water is for the weak! And quitters! But please, ma'am, I'm so exhausted! Very well then, let's get you some water since you're exhausted. But you, Blondie, keep running! Yes, ma'am, right away. Oh, and done. I can't believe it. Also, it was really nice that the gym teacher went and got Gabby some water. What do you mean? Doesn't look good for Gabby. She stopped running. Wait, what are you talking about? I just took her to get some water. There's no way that's true. All I know is I wouldn't want to be her right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Class dismissed! Take the showers! Wait, hold on. Ma'am, where's Gabby? Who's Gabby? Um, the girl you took to get some water? I have no idea what you're talking about. Now get changed, young lady. You don't want to be late for your next class. Now I don't want to be late for my soap opera. Wait a second. Hold on. Why is the gym teacher acting like Gabby never existed? She was helping her. Wait, hold on. What if the rumors Gabby was talking about are true? Students just disappear. No, 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 th that can't happen. There's no way. All I know is I need to figure out what is going on at this strict school. Something seems weird. Oh my gosh, I am so exhausted. All I want to do is sleep after all that running. And there's no escaping this place. I'm literally stuck here. And this is my dorm room now. It's sad and miserable. And guys, I don't know what to do. Gabby is gone. I haven't seen her at all today after gym class. And I asked some of my teachers if they knew about her and they said I was crazy and they had no idea who I was talking about. This place is weird. Something is up. This place smells weird. Sophie, my best friend, what are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, girly, it's easy. I have a sixth sense that led me here to you. Okay, bestie, that sounds absolutely crazy, but I'm so, 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 so glad you're here. But, uh, hate to break it to you. You're gonna be stuck here, too. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, no, oh, no, Sophie, um, uh, we gotta hide you. Quick, quick, get in the closet. Go, go, go. Oh, my God, I'm right Principal Tackett must have hurt Sophie. Act natural. Don't be suspicious. Red, how long do I have to stay in here? Sophie, stay quiet. If the principal hears you, you'll be in deep trouble. Am. Why is there still a light on? What are you doing still awake? Lights out was five minutes ago. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Principal Tackett. I was really focused on studying. I, I totally lost track of time. Hmm. And what exactly were you doing? Better have not been any of those video games. Oh, I was um reading the extensive analysis of the color gray. I see. Well, lights out immediately. This is your last morning. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was a close call. Oh my pineapples, Brit. Who was that lady? And my goodness, did she wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Before we talk about that, can we really circle back to, um, why am I stuck here? Sophie, that was Principal Tackett. And didn't you notice that when you entered the school, the doors locked right behind you? This strict school is keeping children here. We can never go home. Okay, this is Banana Land, Brit. You're telling me, and I think something even crazier is going on because a girl in my gym class, she's like vanished, disappeared. What the heck? What do you mean disappeared? Like literally here and then just gone. And none of the teachers are acting like they know what I'm talking about. Well, maybe she got expelled. That happened to me once in kindergarten. I don't think so, Sophie. Something weird is happening. Okay, well in that case, then this place is mega creepy. Do you want to help me find Gabby though? I'm kind of getting worried. Of course, bestie. But uh, let's get some sleep and start this search in the morning. You don't have a roommate, do you? No, not that I know of. That bed's all yours. Oh my gosh, yay! It is bouncy. This is perfect. Ah! Oh my gosh, what the heck was that noise? Oh, my pineapples. What was that? I don't know, but I'm assuming that it's like the wake up call or something. It's a terrible sound. Wait, but it's like four in the morning. Yeah, so what do you expect? The people who run this school are crazy. Cool, man. Well, let me tell you, I did not sleep well at all. Do you know that you talk in your sleep? Like you laugh, you scream. It was terrifying. I almost wanted to sleep in the hall. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, bestie. Eh, that's okay. Now, are you sure I have to wear this terrible uniform? I feel like I look hideous. So you realize like we're wearing the same exact outfit? Yeah, um, but it's just not my style, okay? You look fine in it, I guess. Either way, it doesn't matter if you like the uniform. If you want to be undercover, you have to blend in. You of all people should know that. You're like the master of disguise. This is true. This is true. Anyway, so let's go get some breakfast. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, good morning, girls. Wait, hold on. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Me? I'm uh, Sabrina. I've been a student here for years, Principal Tackett. Hmm, interesting. If you don't mind, Principal Tackett, we don't want to be late for breakfast. We got to get going. You know, a good school day starts with like a really great breakfast. Yes. Yes, it does. Run along. Come on, Sabrina. Let's go. Hmm, something's not right. Oh, well, I gotta wake up the rest of the students. Wake up, you maggots! My gosh, Sophie, Sabrina? Yes, that's me now. I'm creating a whole new identity while I'm here. You gotta have fun somehow. This place is horrible. Just wait till you try the food. Yeah, you're right, bestie. Breakfast was really terrible. <gasps> wait a second, what? This? What is it, Soph? How come I didn't notice this sign before? It says teachers only? No students allowed ever? <laughs> Somewhere we aren't supposed to enter? I think we should go, Brit. No, Sophie, are you crazy? Absolutely not. It says right there not to go in. Yeah, but that makes you want to go inside the door even more. Wait, Sophie, Sophie, what the heck? Yeah. Um, hey, Principal Tackett, <laughs> ma'am. What are you two doing? Oh, um, we're just going somewhere you're not supposed to, huh? You two girls should be in class. Hey, lady, what's in that room? Uh, oh, it's a room where no students are allowed. Now, if I catch you two again snooping around this door, it'll be detention for the both of you. You got that? Now, I have a very important meeting to attend to. Hmm. Sophie, you heard the crazy, mean, strict lady. We gotta get away from this door. What are you doing? Yeah, but like, it's only just detention. It'll be worth it when we find out what's behind this door, don't you think? No, Soph, I'm really not looking to get in trouble right now. Forever. Mm, come on. Let me just try to open the door. Hold on. Just open, stupid door. Sophie, I think we need a special key or something. You're right. Where do you think she's hiding the key, hmm? I can't wait any longer. I 
need to get inside this room. So that's the second bell. We're gonna be late. We'll find the key later. Come on. Is it just me or is this class a total snore fest? I'm gonna fall asleep. Shh, Sophie. I get down. We can't be talking during this lesson. Uh, pardon me. That better not be whispering that I'm hearing. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what is it? What do you want? Uh, I think I saw some kid that's not in school uniform run down the hallway. Oh my gosh, great eyes. I'm gonna go take a look. It's we just can't follow roof. <laughs> Perfect. Bestie, what are you doing? <sighs> look what I found. Are you taking something off the teacher's desk? That's a death sentence. You're crazy. Oh, quiet down, Gerald. No, Sophie. He is so totally right. What are you doing with that key? You gotta put it back. No, because this is definitely the key to that secret room. I can't believe I got it. Sophie, come on. <clears throat> what are you doing up out of your seat? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I had to um uh, blow my nose. Yep, <laughs> I'll sit right back down. Now, where were we? We gotta make a run for it now. Soph, no. Too late, I'm going. No, Sophie, get back here. Hey, wait, get back here. Well, 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 what do we have here? Were you running? Me? Oh, no, I wasn't running. I was just walking at an above average speed. That's it. Come with me, young lady. Or shall I say, Sophie? What in the what? You dumb child. No one will ever fool me. You're coming with me. Oh, my pineapples. No. Put me down. Put me down, please. Come on, come on. Shut up. Oh, my gosh, no, Sophie. Where is Principal Tackett taking her? Looks like she went in that secret room. What do I do? I gotta save my best friend. But I'm scared. What if something bad happens to me, too, if I go in that room? It's okay, Britt. You got this. You have to save your best friend. Okay, well, I've literally been hiding in this bathroom for about an hour and a half. I think now's the time. Just gotta sneak. Okay, coast seems clear so far. Run, 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 run. Oh, down the stairs. Don't see anyone. Good, good, good. Keep running, keep running. Perfect. Oh, wait, there's the key Sophie dropped. Now to open this door. Ah, yes, it worked. What is this room? There's a creepy door. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta open this too. Hello? Wait, down here. Oh my gosh, Sophie. Wait, another door? What the? Oh my gosh, Sophie, Gabby, you're here too? I don't believe it. Oh my gosh, girlie, I'm so glad to see you. And I am so glad to see you guys. What the heck? You're like locked in a jail cell? You're telling me. Girl, we are just so happy to see you. Here, let me let you guys out. <laughs> You just love looking for trouble, don't you? Oh no. Oh, I will attack it. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Why do you have students locked in here? Well, isn't it obvious? I hate kids. I despise them. They never listen, which is so annoying. Running a school gives me the opportunity to lock kids away one at a time when they break rules. And pretty soon, there'll be no kids left on Earth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this lady is bananas. Definitely. Now, you can turn right around and march yourself into that jail cell. Because you ladies aren't going anywhere. That's what you think. Uh, you girlies got any ideas on how we're going to get out of here? I've got one. Let's make a run for it. There's no way you'll catch us, you mean old lady. Ah! Guys, come on. Let's get out of here. I'm going to get you, Britt. Yeah, right. <laughs> Try to catch me first. Ugh, I hate those kids. I can't take it anymore. It's time for a big change around here. <laughs> I knew you couldn't catch me. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I throw you in the pool? What? No, no, no. Don't throw me in the pool. Oh, come on. Get over here. Nope. No way. This is base. Girls! Oh, hey, Mom. What's up? I have something I want to show you. To the living room right now. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Guys, maybe it's a puppy. <gasps> I'm so excited. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Um, what's this? Yeah, Mom, what's going on? Well, I can't stand you girls, so I've decided it's time for some rules. Rules? Yeah, Mom, come on. We already have, like, a million of those. I don't care. If you don't follow these rules, you'll be in huge trouble. Now, I'm gonna let you study the rules. Don't you dare break them. Got it? Yeah. 
Okay, mom. Is it just me or is this crazy? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Okay, what even are these rules? Rule number one, no loud noises, no complaints. Cleaning? No excessive fun? No messes allowed ever? No stinking? No laughing? Oh my gosh, Brett, and no happiness? Breaking rules equals extreme consequences? What the heck? What are we supposed to do? I don't know, sis. I'm worried. We don't stand a chance. Do you really think mom is serious about this? I don't know. I mean, mom's always been really strict. Yeah, no kidding. She's literally the meanest mom ever. I don't know. I don't think she's that bad. Are you kidding me? Remember that time she canceled Christmas? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty mean. Do you think we should maybe try it out and break one of her rules? Absolutely not. I don't want to get in trouble. But Britt, it's the only way to find out. Okay, yeah, you're right. But honestly, I do not want to be the one who tests it out. Yeah, neither do I. There's gotta be something. Let me think. Oh, oh, I've got it. What if we don't actually break the rules? What are you thinking of hiring like a body double or something? No, absolutely not. Brit, that's a crazy idea. Okay, then how the heck do you think we're gonna do this then? We need to invite over one of our friends to test it and they can break the rules. Oh, okay. I don't hate this idea, but um, I don't know any rule breakers. Do you? <laughs> of course we do. Oh, Oh, no, no, no. Are you gonna invite over your ex-boyfriend, Chuck? You bet I am. He's the toughest kid in school. Girls! There you are. What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Mom. Just hanging out. Good. I wanted to make sure you weren't breaking any of my new rules. Us? No, of course not. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> not us. We'd never do that. Well, I thought I heard laughing. Uh... No, it was a sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. No way would be laughing, right, Brett? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Perfect. My rules are working. Now move it or lose it. Dinner's ready. Oh my gosh, I gotta go get Cammy. Okay, Psst. hello. Open the door. Cammy, come on. Chuck's here. Ugh. What the heck? What are you doing? Hello, Cammy. Excuse me. Was that a loud noise? <laughs> Um, no, Mom, not a loud noise. That was a uh, Dad. I think he's um doing something with the lawnmower outside. Hit a rock. I don't know. Ugh, that idiot. I'm gonna go talk to him. Always ruining my everything. Whew. Okay, well that was a close one. Cammy, your ex-boyfriend's here. Come on, hurry up. Whatever. I'll go get the door myself. Yeah. What's up, Brit? Oh, hey, Chuck. Thanks for coming over. Yeah. No problem. Does Cammy want me back? Ugh. Yeah. Not again. Exactly. Oh, hey, Chuck. Cammy, what took you so long? I was fixing my hair, Brett. Leave me alone. How's it going? Thanks for coming over. Yeah, you know, anything to see you. You're awesome. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, Chuck, I have a mission for you. If I give you 50 bucks, will you break one of our mean mom's rules? Yeah, what do you say? Ha, rules? What are you talking about? Oh, come with me. I'll show you. These crazy rules, our mom came up with them. And if we break them, we're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> Wait a second. No laughing? No fun? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what is someone breaking my rules? <laughs> oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these rules are whack. What the heck? No loud noises? This is crazy. Crazy? I'll show you crazy. Uh-oh. Get out of my house or I'll call the cops. Whoa, what the heck, lady? <laughs> Take that! Mom! Oh my gosh, what is going on? You can't be serious! Wanna bet you're insane! <laughs> Got him! Oh my goodness! So, uh, you weren't kidding about these rules, were you, Mom? Do I look like I'm kidding? <sighs> Good morning, world! That was a beautiful night's sleep, if I do say so myself. Wait a second, what's that? Noise. It's a loud noise. <gasps> Mom's gonna freak. Where is it coming from? Kimmy, hey, what are you doing? Oh, what's up, Brit? Whoa, okay. Looks like someone's starting their day with a dance party. You bet I am. Come on. This is my favorite song. Join me. Oh, this is a groove. Woo. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, sis, what are you doing? Mom's gonna lose her mind. Girl, I don't care. I'm just setting up the day with good vibes. But you don't want mom to hear you, do you? I don't care. Alexa, crank up the music. All right, well, hey, I'm gonna join you. Move over. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Alexa, turn off the music now! 
Ow! Hey, Mom! Come on, I was listening to that. Seriously? Uh, Kimmy, you might want to be careful. Are you complaining? That's another broken rule! Rule number two, no complaining! Okay, but Mom, don't you think these rules are a little crazy? Rules are rules! Sorry, Mom, I didn't mean to break your rules. Sorry, won't cut it. Pack your things, get out! Mom! Wait, you're kicking me out? You hard me! But Mom! Nope! More complaining! Mom, you can't be serious. Please, don't kick her out. It's too late. Come on, Cammie. You're coming with me. Mom, hey! What the heck? Mom, put me down! Ha! Hope you like living outside. Don't you come back in here! Wait, seriously? Hey, Cammie, I brought you some food. Thanks, Britt. I'm so hungry. I bet. I can't believe Mom actually kicked you out of the house. I can't either. I have to sleep out here? What if, like, a werewolf gets me? Or, or a spider? Or a snake? Brett, this is not the place for me. Girl, I know. Maybe we should talk to Mom. Yeah, good idea. But, um, I'm kind of banned from the house, so... Oh, no. Oh, that means I have to do it. Yep. Sorry, sis. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, I really don't want to talk to Mom. I hate confrontation. Well, I hate sleeping outside, Brett. Come on. Please help me. I just hope she can give you another chance. Girl, me too. I do not want to sleep outside again tonight. Brittany! Get inside now! Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, wish me luck. Good luck. Hey, Mom. You, you screamed? You bet I did. What you think? I hung up signs of the rules everywhere in the house so that way you and your stupid sister would not forget them. Oh, wow. You really outdid yourself, Mom. Jeez. Thanks. There's copies above your bed, too. Gotcha. Hey, so actually, um, glad you called me in. I really want to talk to you. You know, Brittany, I have to say, I am so lucky at least one good child listens. Well, Mom, I have to ask, why did you make these rules up in the first place? Because you and your sister are annoying! I can't stand you! What? You can't be serious. I am serious, and don't you ask me questions! But Mom... Don't you remember rule number two? Don't forget it. No complaining! Okay, fine. But can you at least let Cammie come back inside? She could be eaten by a yeti! No! Get lost! I have to go watch Grey's Anatomy! And I don't want you around ruining everything! Jeez Louise, mine. What has gotten into my mom? Oh, oh my gosh, she really wasn't kidding. <gasps> These rules are everywhere! Oh my gosh, there's like 14 rules above my bed! This woman has gone insane. Maybe my mom really is mean after all. Yeah, so if I just don't understand it. So, Bestie, what would you do in this situation? You know, I'm not too sure. My mom normal not like your mom but there's got to be a way to get my sister back in the house i mean there has to be she can't just kick her out forever why haven't you just tried sneaking her inside oh my gosh that's an amazing idea what haven't i thought of that oh goodness girl do i have to do everything around here i don't know maybe okay look i'll help you but if things go south it's on you yes yes oh my gosh thank you sophie oh you are the best i don't know how i'll ever ever repay you by not including me in any your disasters of your life anymore? <laughs> yeah, no, that will never happen. Come on, let's go. You know, Britt, I've been doing a lot of running today. I'm getting tired. Oh, come on, we're here. Hey, Cammy. Hey, girl. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you. Hey, Soph. Cammy, Sophie is here to help sneak you back into the house. You ready for this? Are you sure this is gonna work? Of course it is. It's my idea. Okay, come on. I'm gonna check to see if mom's home. Hello? Mom? Oh, mom? I don't uh, think she's here. Oh, oh boy, you weren't kidding about this rule thing, huh? Yeah, no, I wasn't. Kimmy, coast is clear. Come on, let's go. La, 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 la. Nothing to see here. <gasps> so this is your parents' room? I've never seen it before. Sophie, get out of there. You don't want to be caught. Perfect, guys. We did it. Wow. Oh my goodness, it worked. Yes. Oh my bad, I missed it so much. Oh my gosh, thank you, Sophie. Sorry, I was just so excited to be back. Oh, don't mention it. I never said thank you. Hey, that's not true. I know. I just like to make you feel bad sometimes. Sophie. So, uh, Kimmy, no offense, but you might want to do us all a favor and shower. Yikes. Oh, is it that bad? Yeah, you kind of smell like a garden. Ugh. Ah, no, Mom's home. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Get down here now. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I can't believe this. This is insanity. Wait, Mom? No, but Moms, are you kidding me? What is all over the floor? It's dirt! Where did this come from? I'm so 
sorry. Yeah, Brits, Mom. We're sorry. No, this is unacceptable. Rule number four. No messes. Loud ever. Yeah, Mom, I know. I'm really, really sorry. It was a mistake. Oh, don't worry. I know it wasn't you. It was this rat over here. What? <laughs> Mom! No, it wasn't Sophie. Please, it really wasn't me this time. I promise. I always check my shoes for dirt. I like playing in the mud, but I, I never make your house messy, Brits, Mom. I don't believe you. You're a gross freak. Hey, Mom, Sophie's not a freak. Sure, she's a little crazy, but she's not gross. Shut up. I've had enough of people breaking my rules. Yikes, lady, you really are one mean mom. What did you just say, you little dirt monster? I said you're a mean mom. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll show you mean. You banned, you little brat. Huh? What the? No, Brits, mom, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Goodbye, Sophie. <gasps> mom, what just happened? <laughs> I kicked that little freak right out of my house. Now you better get cleaning. I want this entire house spotless. I want to be able to eat off these floors. Get to work. Seriously, this is gonna take forever. This house is huge and I'm not even close to being done. Most of the dirt off the stairs and over here, but the rest of the house is a mess. Well, not really. It actually kind of looks perfect. Oh, I just don't want to spend my whole night cleaning. Mom's low-key the worst. You know what? I'm just gonna give myself a little five-minute break. Put the mop and broom over here. Goodbye. Nothing like a little lemonade. Take a seat. Feet hurt from all this cleaning. I'm gonna make sure I don't leave this glass hanging around. I don't wanna break another one of my mom's rules. Hey, kid, how's it going? Hey, Dad. Oh, yikes. Um, I'm sorry, but Dad, you kinda smell like rotten cheese. What is. Oh, did you forget deodorant today? <laughs> oh, gosh, no, I was just at the gym. Gotta work off that turkey weight. You know what I'm saying? Holidays were too good to me. Well, Dad, you gotta be careful before Mom catches you. You should go shower, like, right now. What? What are you talking about? Gotta make myself a protein shake first. No, Dad, trust me, you do not want to break Mom's rule. Oh, boy. She always has rules. It's so hard to keep up sometimes. No, Dad, but this time she really means business. Gosh, she really fell, so it would probably be for the best if you showered. <laughs> oh, kid, don't worry, I'll be fine. Now, where did those avocados go? What? No! No, 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 no! No. Oh, hey, <laughs> honey, I'm home. You smell like a dumpster full of leftover lasagna. Yikes. <laughs> I was at the gym. You stink. You broke my rule. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. Serious? Of course I'm serious. You don't break rules in this house, mister. Don't you understand anything? But Judy. My house, my rules. And if you can't follow them, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. What? No. Now go shower. Get your things out of the room. I don't want to see your face around here. See, Dad? I told you. Oh, man, I thought you were lying, but you're not kidding. Ugh, I cannot take my mom anymore. She's ridiculous. Ridiculous. All these rules. She's been yelling at everyone. She is so mean. But you know what? I'm gonna just sit down, watch some YouTube videos, and forget all about it. Oh my gosh, yes! Flamingo uploaded a new video. I'm definitely gonna watch that. He's literally one of my favorite content creators ever. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. No, are you serious? He's trolling like everyone. This is amazing. What is going on? Do I hear laughing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, mom, you are. But honestly, I'm sorry. I can't help but break this rule. Are you kidding me? I thought you were the good kid, but now you're the rule breaker. You know, there are consequences for breaking rules. Yeah, yeah, but mom, you have to see this video. It's hilarious. No. Come on, even you will find this funny. Watch it. Absolutely not. You are grounded. What? Grounded for laughing? You bet, Missy. You broke two rules. Rules number six and seven. No laughing and no happy. Happiness! I'm taking this. What? Your laptop, it's mine. Mom! I told you, there were consequences. Good day, daughter. Oh, that's it. Okay, I've had enough. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm just so mad. I, I don't even know what to do. Now I can't even watch YouTube. What the heck am I supposed to do now? You know what? I'm gonna go talk to Cammie. Cammie, I've got an idea. Whoa! Brit, you scared me. What's up? I've had it up to here with Mom. We're gonna do something about it. Oh, yeah. Look at us. We are breaking all of Mom's 
stupid rules. Oh my gosh, Britt, she is going to be so mad. <laughs> I know, this is so amazing. Honestly though, mom can't do anything worse than she already has. Yeah, you're totally right. Woo! This is awesome, Britt. I know, I'm having so much fun. Okay, it's a matter of time before mom shows up. She's gonna be so mad. Woo, and it's a matter of time before you and I get in the shower. We are starting to smell. It's perfect. We're breaking rule number five. No stinking. Oh, I called the blue one. Leave me alone, it's all for breaking the rules. What is going on? What are you doing here? Oh, hey mom, just breaking all your rules. <laughs> yeah, wanna join us? Absolutely not, stop right now. No mom, sorry, can't hear you through all the fun we're having. That's it, I have no choice. What is it mom? I got a surprise for you two brats. Follow me. Uh-oh, Cammie, I'm a little scared. Last time mom surprised us, we got all these rules in the first place. Yeah, I know. What's gonna happen, Britt? I don't know, but we should probably follow mom. And maybe it's nothing bad. <gasps> maybe we're gonna get a puppy finally. Oh my gosh, that would be so exciting. Where are you, losers? Uh, coming, mom. So, uh, what's the surprise? I got you two brand new bicycles over there. Why don't you go? Go check them out. Wait, seriously? Mom, that's really nice of you. Oh, I called the blue one. And I want the pink one. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I can't believe this. Yeah, neither can I. Maybe we took it too far. You think we took it too far? No way, sis. Mom did. I know. Now we're gonna have to live down here forever and smell like this forever. We should have brought deodorant. It's okay. I'm sure someone will come for us eventually. I don't know, Britt. Only thing's for sure is I really I really wish I could have ordered us some pizza. Do you think they deliver down here? Probably, but then we'd be stuck in a jail cell with a delivery guy. You could be odd. Yikes! And uh, no offense, Britt, but you really stink. I'm gonna stay over here and protect my nose. Hey, that's not fair, you smell too. Oh gosh, at least we're in this stink cloud together, huh? You're right, you're right. We gotta think of something. There's gotta be a way out, right? I'm all out of ideas. <gasps> Wait a second. Mom didn't take my phone away. Wait, seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have it right here. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna call Sophie. Hey, Soph. Weird thing, but we're stuck in a secret basement at my house, so can you come and save us? Girl, you can't be serious. I know, I know, but okay, all you have to do is like, it's attached to my garage, I think, so look for it. I'm sure you can't miss it. You can probably smell us from underground. Oh, goodness, Britt. Call me if you get lost, bye! Oh my gosh, Britt, I'm so excited. For once, you're actually saving the day. I know, right? Kind of awesome for a change. Geronimo! This is the place. Hey, Britt. Hey, Cammie. Sophie! Oh my gosh, yes, you're here! Soph, I'm so glad to see you! Oh, oh boy, you got uh, some new pals around you. Some, some flies, huh? Yeah. All right, Soph, work your Sophie Sampson magic and unlock the door. Please, we gotta get out of here and shower. All right, girly. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What do you think is going on here? Sophie's here to free us. Uh, Britt, on second thought. Sorry, girlies. This woman's terrifying. I'm out of here. Bye. Wait, no. Sophie, come back. Sophie. Sophie, come on. You can't be serious. <laughs> so much for your little prison escape, huh? You thought you could just be broken out after breaking all my rules? Mom, you can't keep us in here forever. Oh, I want these flies go away. I totally can. Fine, you win. But can you just answer one question for us? Ugh, fine, what is it? Why did you come up with all these stupid rules in the first place? Because I was sick of seeing you and your sister getting along. I hate it. But mom, that's not fair. Life's not fair. My sister never had fun with me and it ruined my life. So now I have to ruin yours. No, mom, you don't have to do that. Of course I do. No, mom, you should just be happy that your daughters broke the cycle of sisters not getting along. Huh, maybe you're right. Maybe I should be happy. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, mom, please just let us out. Fine, but under one condition. Okay, what is it? We keep one rule. Just please don't get dirt all over the floor like that ever again. Wait, seriously, mom? That's it? Yeah, and uh, go shower right now.